Okay, um, I have grown up in countryside, rural area until my high school, and my parents were in, in farming, and I was helping them, I think, I believe, from my seven-year-old, you know, then I was pretty much with them, uh, except those uh, school you know, hours and times. A lot of, I spent a lot of time to feed the, the ox and, and, you know, taking the ox and the, to the mountainside, and, and and I was living with the nature and I have very curious and wonder about the nature. I did not realize I am good at science or math uh, until I was like a compare with other students during elementary school and middle schools. I, I was always wonder about, you know, what the really, you know, nature is about. And one of the example was in my high school days, um, that was, uh, I believe that was a physics, you know, book. Uh, you know, there were like 20, you know, practice problems and I solved all except one. And that was something related with the geometry and water surface line. And I could not figure out, I was asking around my classmates and they could not give me the answer. Then I was recommended to go another classroom and he just simply told me that water surface line is just a perpendicular to the gravity. Oh yeah? Yeah, it is. Okay, I have been working on online electric vehicle system we call it RLEV. Uh, this is new innovative technology we have been working in KAIST recently and this is transferring energy or electricity wirelessly to moving electric vehicles. If you consider it as a wireless energy transfer, the solar light is a, we are getting the solar energy wirelessly. If you consider warming up the room, we are getting heating energy wirelessly. So it's a, just a different form of energy transmission. That means that we can carry only small size of battery on board. Uh, also, we can make a, a public introduction of electric vehicle in a lot more uh, faster uh, phase. First of all, I'm very honored to be here. And also, there's a, a famous story that from one of my students uh, saying that you know he was basically traveling in Jeju Island, very countryside, and he got encountered with a, a let's say a bunch of uh, uh, local people. They were eventually asking him where are you from, and he said you know Kai is from Dezhen. Then those people just show showed off their sincere gratefulness to this student means that being part of the KAIST member, the people in Korea just appreciate you. And now you have a huge opportunity to explore new innovations and new, let's say, nature observations so that we can help the future human mankind. I'm very, uh, again, I'm very honored to be a member of this KAIST community.